Legislation is in the works to expand Colorado's red flag law. A new bill aims to expand the law and give district attorneys the authority to petition the courts to take guns from someone deemed dangerous to themselves or others. News Channel 13 investigative reporter Quinn Ritzdorf is live in studio after speaking with one Southern Colorado district attorney about the proposal. Quinn. Democratic Senator Tom Sullivan, who represents Arapaho in Douglas counties, is drafting the bill right now. This proposed red flag law expansion comes one day after Governor Jared Polis called for it in his state of the state address. Several district attorneys who believe we already under the current law have that authority, but I think it's always helpful to have it uh, clarified. Right now, the law only allows family members or law enforcement to file an extreme risk petition. But third judicial district attorney Henry Solano believes district attorneys should be included. Sometimes law enforcement offices may not be inclined to intercede and the people may be looking to someone um, with expertise and experience such as district attorneys and their investigators to help enforce this law in addition to other laws. This comes after 13 investigates found no one petitioned the court to remove suspected Club Q shooters guns in a previous arrest. Records reviewed by our team show that in 2021, Anderson Aldrich told family members they wanted to be the next mass killer before deputies arrested him for making bomb threats. Despite the warning signs, the El Paso County Sheriff's Office didn't use its authority to petition the court to bar Aldrich from owning or buying guns. All extreme risk petitions are approved by a judge. Dennis Mays, a retired district judge from Pueblo, supports expanding the law to give district attorneys authority to file those petitions. It's just another layer of uh, protection for the public. And since they are, as I indicated several times now, intimately involved in the prosecution of these cases, if they know something like that's coming up. Other district attorneys in the area declined to comment for the story as a bill has yet to be filed. Reporting live in the studio, Quinn Ritzdorf, 13 Investigates.